Boyle's law is a gas law that relates pressure and volume. When temperature and the amount of gas are kept constant, pressure and volume have an inverse relationship. As the pressure increases, the volume decreases. And as the space or volume a gas takes up increases, the pressure will go down. If you exert a pressure on a gas, you can compress it or decrease its volume. You can imagine that in a rigid container, the pressure inside of that container is based upon the particles hitting the side of that container. This pressure is based upon how hard and how often the particles hit. If you decrease the size of this container, the particles will hit more often. This is an increase in pressure. The equation for Boyle's law allows us to compare the pressure and volume from two situations. If a tire has a starting volume of 11.5 liters and a starting pressure of 3.05 ATMs, what will the new pressure be if the tire is compressed to a volume of 10.4 liters? If we solve the Boyle's law equation algebraically, and substitute in each of our values, we can see that the new pressure will be 3.37 atmospheres. This pressure has increased because we have reduced the volume of the container. Charles' law is a gas law that relates volume and temperature. If we keep pressure and the amount of gas constant, then volume and temperature are directly proportional. As the temperature increases, the volume will increase as well. And as the temperature decreases, so will the volume. As you heat a gas, the particles move faster and the gas expands or takes up more space. You can imagine that if the gas particles were inside of a balloon, as they were heated, the particles would move faster and hit the surface of the balloon with a greater force. This would cause the balloon to expand or increase its volume. The opposite is also true. If we cool the particles, they will slow down and hit the surface with less force. This will allow the balloon to compress or decrease its volume. The equation for Charles' law relates volume and temperature in a before and after scenario. For example, if a hot air balloon has a volume of 2,500 meters cubed, and a starting temperature of 370 Kelvin, if the hot air balloon cools to 350 Kelvin, what will its new volume be? If we solve the Charles' law equation algebraically, so that V2 is by itself, and then substitute in our values, we can see that the new volume would be 2,364.9 meters cubed. Gay-Lussac's law is a gas law that relates pressure and temperature. When we keep volume and the amount of gas constant, pressure and temperature are directly proportional. As the temperature of a gas increases, so does its pressure. And if we decrease the temperature of a gas, its pressure will also go down. If you heat up the particles of a gas, they will gain more kinetic energy or they will move faster. This increases the number of times per second that particles will be hitting the surface of the container. This is what causes the increase in pressure when the temperature goes up. The equation for Gay-Lussac's law is used to compare before and after scenarios of a gas. A gas in a container at a temperature of 285 Kelvin exerts a pressure of 0.85 atmospheres. If that gas is heated up to 300 Kelvin, what will its new pressure be? If we solve the Gay-Lussac's equation algebraically so that P2 is by itself and then substitute in each of our values, we can show that the new pressure will be 0.89 atmospheres.